Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my homemade two-layer chocolate cake from scratch. This cake is made with real chocolate. All it is is two layers of chocolate cake with a fudge and buttercream frosting. Simple. This cake calls for about 15 or more individual servings, depending on how you slice it. If you love chocolate, you're going to love this cake because it's absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all what you'll need to make your homemade chocolate cake. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need some all-purpose flour, sugar, brown sugar, salt, baking powder, baking soda, unsweetened cocoa powder, special dark version, two packages, that's eight ounces total, of unsweetened baking chocolate, instant decaf coffee, this is optional of course, unsalted butter at room temperature, eggs at room temperature, sour cream at room temperature, whole milk, I'm using the 1% uh, milk fat version, but you can use the full fat version if you like. Canola oil, vanilla extract, butter extract, and some confectioner sugar. And for your tools, you'll need some Baker's Joy non-stick baking spray, two 9-inch round cake pans, a disposable piping bag with the tip cut off, and a offset spatula. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. We're gonna go ahead and get started by adding two and one half cups of all-purpose flour or cake flour, one fourth cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, special dark version, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one eighth teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to go ahead and sift all the ingredients into a medium-sized bowl. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, take our spoon and we're just going to uh, stir the ingredients together until combined. Let me make sure you stir that really good. All right, in a separate medium sized bowl, we're going to add one cup of sour cream at room temperature. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract and two teaspoons of butter extract. I'm going to take my whisk and I'm just going to give this a quick stir. Break four ounces of unsweetened baking chocolate into a small glass bowl. From there, place it in the microwave and melt it on high for one minute. Now once done, we're going to take that uh, melted baking chocolate and we're going to add that into the sour cream. Now this is four ounces, that's a half a cup of unsweetened baking chocolate that we're adding in there. Alright, now I'm going to take my uh, whisk and I'm just going to give this a quick stir until combined. And as you can see, this mixture is pretty thick. That is normal. All right, now stand mixer bowl with the paddle attachment. We're gonna add two and one half sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature, two tablespoons of canola oil, one and one third cups of sugar, and one and one fourth cups of brown sugar. Now we're gonna go ahead and start our mixer on a medium low speed just to get that butter, canola oil, and sugar incorporated. And then we're going to turn up our mixer to the highest setting and we're going to mix this on high speed for six minutes. Now at some point you're going to stop your mixer and you're going to scrape down the sides of your bowl. Okay. And we're going to continue mixing that in. Okay. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. Now we're going to go ahead and start our mixer on a medium speed and we're going to add four large eggs in at room temperature one at a time. Okay. That's the second one, third one, and the fourth one right on in there. You want to be careful not to overmix this, all right? Scrape down the sides of your bowl. Add one cup of your all-purpose flour mixture and a half a cup of your chocolate sour cream mixture. Mix this on a medium-low speed until combined. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. Add one cup of your all-purpose flour mixture and a half a cup of your chocolate sour cream mixture. Mix this on a medium low speed until combined. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. Add three fourth cup of your all-purpose flour mixture and a half a cup of your chocolate sour cream mixture. Mix this on a medium low speed until combined. 
Be careful not to overmix this, okay? All right, now let's get started with the secret step. We're going to preheat our fire to medium high heat. In a small pot, we're going to add a half a cup of water, two teaspoons of instant decaf coffee, and two teaspoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. Now we're going to go ahead and take a whisk and just give this a quick stir. Now we're going to let this come to a simmer. Our mixture is at a simmer now. We're going to go ahead and give it one last final quick stir. Now we're going to turn our fire off and we're going to add our hot coffee and chocolate mixture right into the batter. And we're going to mix this on medium low speed until combined. And this will activate that chocolate, results in a dark cake, and it improves texture and flavor. And there we have it. Now we're going to go ahead and spray our two baking pans with Baker's Joy Nonstick Baking Spray. And we're going to preheat our oven to 325 degrees. Now we're going to add our chocolate cake batter into each of our baking pans. Do it as even as possible. Okay. Now we're going to take a back of a spoon and we're just going to spread that cake batter around our cake pans as evenly as possible. And we're also going to shake the pans to make the batter more even. Okay. And I also like to weigh my pans to sh just to sh make sure that the batter is even in both pans. Okay. Now let's bake this. We're going to place this into a preheated 325 degree oven and we're going to bake it for about 35 to 40 minutes. And this is how it looks before and this is how it looks after. Look at that. It's nice beautiful rise. Now we're going to remove our chocolate cakes out of the oven after baking them on 325 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. Two pick inserted into each cake layer should come out clean. Let the cakes cool completely. This should take about four to five hours. Break four ounces of unsweetened baking chocolate into a small glass bowl. From there, melt it in the microwave on high for one minute and then let it cool completely. All right, here we have our cake layers. As you can see, mine bake pretty even. But if you want to trim off the top, you can do that with a knife. Just cut that off. Now, I'm going to trim off the, the edge with a serrated knife. In our stand mixer bowl, fit it with a paddle attachment. Add two sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature and two and one half cups of confectioner sugar. Now, we're going to mix this on a medium low speed until combined. All right. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. Now we're going to add two sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature, two cups of confectioner sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two teaspoons of butter extract, and we're going to mix this on a medium low speed until combined. Now afterwards, you're going to turn the mix up to the highest setting and you're going to mix this on high speed for one minute. All right. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. Add one third cup of unsweetened cocoa powder and a half a cup, that's four ounces of unsweetened baking chocolate melted. Make sure that baking chocolate is at room temperature. It's not warm or anything like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix this on a medium low speed until combined. All right, and this is how it looks when we're done. We're gonna scrape down the sides of our bowl. Now we're going to add one to two tablespoons of warm whole milk. Now you're gonna mix this on a medium low speed until combined. All right, our fudge frosting is now ready. Make sure you scrape down the sides of your bowl. Now for some quick troubleshoots and tips, if your frosting turns out runny, just add an additional one fourth cup of the unsweetened cocoa powder. And to enhance it, you can add a half a teaspoon of instant coffee. And don't forget to add one tablespoon of warm whole milk. Mix it on a medium low speed until combined and go from there. All right, now we're going to spread a small amount of our fudge frosting onto a cake pad. Place the bottom layer of cake on top, press it down slightly. And now we're going to add one and one half cups of our fudge frosting into our disposable piping bag. And we're going to go ahead and pipe that onto the bottom layer of cake. Just like that until you reach the center. Now we're going to take our spatula and we're just going to spread that around as evenly as possible. Add the second layer of cake on top. Press it down slightly. And now we're going to add a small amount and spread that around with a spatula along the top. And onto the sides of the cake, this is known as the crumb coat. Now we're going to place this into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Now you're going to add all of the frosting, that's about four cups, on top of the cake. Now you're going to take your spatula and you're just going to spread that frosting around the top. And as the frosting reaches the edges, it'll free fall. And from there you could take your spatula and add the frosting onto the sides of the cake as well. Alright, now we're going to uh, heat our spatula over a medium fire on your stove. And you're going to take your spatula and you're just going to spread that along the top 
and onto the sides of the cake. And once done, cake's ready to be served. Let the cake set for about 10 to 30 minutes before serving. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, homemade chocolate cake made from scratch by a New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. I have an official website for all of my recipes, www.charliecookandrews.com. I am also on Facebook and on Instagram under the name Charlie Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Can't wait. Last time to go ahead and take a bite. Man, look at this. A slice of cake is bigger than me. <laughs> That's what I'm about to do too. Man, this cake is really good. It's soft, it's moist, it has a wonderful chocolate flavor. Now that addition to that coffee that we added, you don't taste the coffee at all. The coffee really enhances the flavor of this dish. It is so good. And then you have that fudge uh, buttercream frosting on the outside. Oh, it's like double chocolate. Delicious, really. I'm telling you, bro, give the recipe a try. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you love chocolate cake, you're gonna love this recipe. So anyways, give the recipe a try. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And until next time, have a good one. Peace. Now I'm about to go ahead and have another bite of this fabulous chocolate cake. Look at that. Mmm.